everyone, Chrissy back again. I am going to look at the trumpets. Ivanka, Don Jr., Eric, and um, Jared. So we're going to start off with, I'll do Ivanka and Jared first. And I'm going to use the steampunk uh, the steampunk um, the Norman for Ivanka she's more and more being called mini Trump so she can get the same Trump deck that, that daddy has okay so let's have a look at what is going on with Ivanka with Daddy's Girl. Okay, so I'm going to use Lenormand for her and Jared, but the two boys, I'm going to use the Everyday Oracle, which are Vera Sibylla. So they have Sibylla cards. Okay, so I'm going to be using those ones for, for the boys. Um, you know, split my card usage a little bit. What's in the next... Oh, what's, what's happening in the next little while for them? <laughs> interesting to see what she's going to attract to her left. That'll be interesting. So let's have a look here. Ivanka. So, there's lots of room, so. Ooh, open up with the same thing that Daddy did. Communications. Child, innocence. <laughs> New beginnings, child, toddler, play, inexperience, innocence, immaturity. I'd say that's probably new beginnings. Oh, look who's popped up. Daddy, dearest. Daddy's popped up. What is on her left? She is attracting changes, transformation. Or maybe she's pregnant. Oh, had two children in there, so we'll get rid of that one. Don't know where that came from. What's it? A scythe. A scythe. Cut short. Tower. Ring. Commitment. And the star. Progress. Okay, so she has... Okay, so she's received communications about new beginnings for her daddy. <laughs> okay. She is attracting transformation. She is attracting changes, but they're not, not good changes because of the scythe. Um, and that means hasty decisions, a warning, speed, a reckoning. A reckoning is coming. She is attracting transformation that's going to lead to her reckoning. Daddy's got reckoning too. She's got a new beginning that's associated with a reckoning. Okay. She's got the tower. In this case, she's exactly the same as Daddy. She's Daddy's girl. She has the same ego and arrogance that's associated with the tower. And a need for the authority that that tower brings. Commitment. The ring is um, commitment Sorry. Ring. commitment, promise, honour cooperation, also cycles so she could be heading towards a new cycle and progress the star but progress towards what? Hope, inspiration, optimism, spirituality, dreams, progress to goals. So she has received some news about her progress to goals, to her, towards her goals. Daddy is relying on her 
she is no she is her father's daughter she has all this ego and she cannot conceive her of her not being entitled to this power and this money this has put her in a cycle it goes around and around and around and but the thing is when you're in a circle when you're in this cycle and you just keep going around and around and around in the same cycle you don't make any progress towards your goal so you know so she's and here we have the scythe which means everything's going to come to a screeching halt uh, innocence transformation change and cycle She is Trump's child, but people have never seen her as innocent. She wants to be seen as innocent, but, you know, she's just seen as somebody who is caught up in this cycle. There's no honour either, uh, despite what it says here. There's no honour for her in this. Uh, again, everything comes to a scratching Oh, so she's not making any progress towards her goal. I really believe she thought that Daddy was going to make her the vice presidential candidate or possibly even nominate her in his place. But no, all that, all of her dreams and everything have come to a crashing halt. Daddy doesn't help situations at all. What's going to happen? Here, further in, oh, further in front of her. She's got the whip. Not good. Conflict. Fight. Oh, she's in for a bit of a bad time further in front of her. What else is there? The lilies. She's going to try and sleep her way out of it. That sounds a bit crude, but, you know, wisdom. She's not wise enough. She's got no mortality. Sensuality, sex, morta morality. Virtue ethics. I mean, no, nah, no. Nah. With this fighting ethics, no ethics. Um, yeah, she's going to seek support, a shoulder to cry on. What's in front of Daddy there? A change, a ship that's movement, a change, movement away from the house. Mice. Mice of thief. Thieves, thieves, things that have been stolen. Ooh, illumination. Everything is going to come to light. Everything is going to come to light. Things aren't looking good for Missy. Yeah, her progress towards the White House is going to be just shot down. Arguments, debates, gone in. Objection, opposition, conflict. No. Daddy's continuing his bid for the White House. He's still continuing his bid towards the White House and she's tied up with Daddy. But Daddy's going to have all these conflicts of interest and everything are going to come to light. All of his conflicts of interest are going to come to light. And that's all before her. That's all before her. The White House, no support. She still believes that Daddy's going to win. Oh, bless her heart. Bless her heart. Anyone from the southern states will probably know what that means. <laughs> Bless her heart. So let's have a look at what's in store for Jared. What's going on with Jared at the moment? What has he got behind him and ahead of him? <sighs> Put that other 
child card there. I was tempted to use this dude for Jared, but I think he's too hot. <laughs> I quite like him. So no. <laughs> Wow, I love that anchor. She's gorgeous. I'm going to have to do this quickly because, you know, I call hubby out so he can fix up the vegetables for dinner and all that soon. So we'll get on with it. Okay, so first we'll find the man. There's the woman. That's interesting to the one they're facing on the left. There's the man. Oh, yeah. He's creepy enough looking. And look what he's holding. A weasel! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that suits Jared definitely. Okay. So let's get on and have a look at what's going on with Jared. That fell out, so we'll put that down. Oh, the bear, Russia. The key, proof. The house, the White House. The fox, sly. Selfish, trickery, suspicion, cunning, caution. Mm. The tree, growth. The garden. Community, responsibility, public service, the moon, secrets, desires, secret desires, the cross. Well, that's not looking good for him. Where's wifey? Where's father-in-law? No sign of them. So, I think there's no news or anything. There's nothing new is going to come out about Jared, but got the bear behind him and in this one this is authoritarianism this is russia okay this is russia get out of it um so russia there's gonna be some proof the key is proof it is uh openness re revelation so there's gonna be some revelations about him and russia and how it ties into the White House. Oh, not looking good. Sly fox. Nasty little creature, this fox. I personally think foxes are beautiful, but in the thing of, in, in, within the Normans, they're not. They represent, um, There are times when they're appropriate, but it, the fox warns against falseness, cunning, and lies. And he's got Russia over the fox. Russia, he, him and Russia, falseness, cunning, and lies associated with Russia. And there's going to be revelations about that. The garden. Places open to the public for society, place, and people to come together. This can be a concert, a hospital, a fair, uh, any public public place, even a public house like the people's house. A place for the people, the people's house, the White House. <sighs> this line is saying he's colluded with Russia. To lie and and deceive American people in their house. Revelations are going to come out about that and his time in the White House and what he's done. The tree, the tree is growth. It's generally a good thing. Grounded past con past connections. Whoa. So if we use if we look at it, past connections, it's not a spiritual growth. 
Could be something with his health. Could be something happening with his health. I get that. No, I don't get that feeling. If it's next to a person card, it can be an indication of health problems. So he might have some health problems ahead of him. Okay, there we go. Probably anxiety. <laughs> and he's got the cross underneath, which is burden. So yeah, he could be facing health problems. Pardon me for dismissing that. Um, not good things. Underneath the moon. Again, I'm using the notes because I'm learning. You can count on success, acknowledgement and, and promotion. It also stands for intuition. Um, he got where he is through cunning. And revelations are going to come out about the lies and deceit he used to get where he is. Revelations are also going to come out about his health. Burden. So things aren't looking too bright and shiny for Jared. What else is ahead of him? Let's see. Her flattery. Flattery, the bouquet. Um, social life, pleasantness, cordiality, etiquette, politeness, appreciation. <laughs> the bouquet. Uh, dumb luck. Dumb luck. Stuff coming out, illumination of the choices he made, of the opportunities that he used, how he used flattery to use to gain opportunities for people. All that's going to come out. The fish gaining money. Ooh, heading backwards. The ship heading backwards. His progress forward, his journey is forward. It stopped. The, hit, the ship's heading the other way. It's heading backwards. Pathways. Um, yeah, whatever pathway he chooses, it's going to get. Yeah, he's going to be sent backwards. He's not. Bird gossip. He's going to be very nervous. He's, he's going to be nervous about proving his innocence, I think. And making forward progress. Oh boy. He's going to have a mix of luck. But there's even so much more is still going to come out of, about him. But everything's going to start heading backwards for him. Money. Backwards. Push, pushing. The, the ship is pushing the money. It's pushing the money back. A burden. I think he could be losing money too by unwise because of unwise decisions. Okay, that is Jared. Now let's look at John Jr. and Eric very quickly. Okay, so that's Jared. Not looking good for him. got the little book here for the Sibylla as well mainly because they're all in Italian <laughs> but also because I haven't used these as much as I would have liked to so we're gonna see which is friend old woman widow a sick person death Let's see. Conversation, home, look out, love, joyous money, man of letters, hope, the lover, the lover, lord, man of high society, nuptials, holiness, travel friend, luck, young girl, doctor. I'm just trying to find one that. Okay, I'm, I can't find a specific one to represent these guys so we're just going to see what the cards say about them so and we'll see where they fall
Don Jr. What's going on with Don Jr.? Conversations. La Vecchia Signora, an old woman. Old woman, yeah. Mother, aunt, grandmother, acquaintance. Eladro, that's a thief. Ooh. Cute hen. Thief, yep. Militaire. The military. Amore. Love. Denari, C6. Denari, that is money, gain, inheritance, investment. Oh, geez, imagine money coming up with regard to a Trump. Oh, wouldn't think so, would you? Grand Signor, a grand gentleman. That'll be his father. La Lagerza. La Gereza. La Gereza? If. Ten. Ten of clubs, lightness, sensitivity, tact, irritability. I think we know what that one is. Stanza, Q1. Um, Ace of spades, worry, affliction, irritation, trouble. Oh, the poor baba. Okay. So, lots of conversation with an older woman, probably with his mum. Theft. He's a thief. About theft. Lost conversation with his mother about theft. C6. Well, you know, that's hearts, money. No, C6. C4, sorry. Heart, love, passion that arises and flourishes again. Well, there's only one thing he has a passion for, and it's money and that awful creature. Um, if he has a passion for her, which I doubt, he's probably just using her. Um, Grand Signor, that's, his da that's, that's Trump. That is Trump. Man of high society. Yep. Or Lord, that's Trump. That's how Trump, that's how he sees his dad. Um, oh, all the conversation. He's, he's, he's stressed and worried because that's this and irritable about all the conversation about his dad denigrating the military. Um, there's his dad. He loves his dad. Um, he's willing to do anything to, to help his dad steal the election, I think. Money and money, so they can keep compiling money. But he is worried. He is worried. Q one. Q one. Q one. Room. Oh no, this is room intimacy solitude. Sorry, I had that the wrong one. I had. I was looking at the wrong um deck there. This is. This is diamonds. So this is room interest policy. So conversations with someone he loves in privacy. But he's irritable about all this talk about the military. Conversation about money and loss of... Uh, all done in private. All done in private. About money. Theft of money in private. His mama, Trump wouldn't want to piss her off. She knows where all the bodies are buried. Um, conversation with a loved one about money. Let's see what else is there. Consolante Suppressor. Um, F6. Ooh, F6. Comforting surprise. A comforting surprise. 
Oh, it's got money there, but not necessarily money. Um, partial success or less than expected success. Okay. Trying to steal the election, I think. He's worried they're not going to be able to do that. Speranza, C8. Um, hope, weight, dream, apprehension. So it's very apprehensive about not doing as good as they hope in the election. Bambino, new start. This is a Q2, a Bambino, a baby. Or is it seven? Q7. Yeah, childbirth, growth, even of a project. Um, talking to his mother about needing money for a new project. But he's irritable. He's also irritable with his father. Having a bit of trouble talking to him in private. But they've got a new project, a new start. They've got to look at a new start. Yep. So that is... Eric. Ah, uh, no, sorry, Donald. Donald Trump Jr. What's going through his head at the moment? A bit of worry about how they're going to steal the election, how they're going to, you know, are they going to get as much as they need? Is it going to work as well as they hope? And are they going to, you know, he's worried that they're not going to get what they need. And also he wants money. Money, money, money makes his world go around. We've got the other, another Stabula card here, and it's, um, we're going to use these ones for Eric. We'll use the same book here because it's, you know. So what does this card, what does this say about Eric? What's in, in, in the wind for Eric using the Stabula cards? Flatterer, it's the king of clubs. Doctor profession, 14. Flatterer, a servant, a helper, an employee. He's getting flat. A sincere friend, a letter, he's getting news and a visit. He has some hope. Military soldier. He's getting all oh, this 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 military stuff. You know what? Um, the military thing didn't show up at all with uh, Ivanka. She doesn't give a shit about them. Neither do these guys, really. Um, just waiting. He's waiting, waiting, waiting. He's hoping for the reconciliation pleasant pastime he just wants to relax and have a good time and hang out with friends he's waiting for news for information to come out the consultant he's consulting somebody oh he's and he's waiting, all right, because he's got to deal with the um, with the New York DA thought. He's deep in thought. He's not as stupid as people make him out to be, but he's a little bit more naive than his brother and sister. Um, I think he was a bit more trusting of them and didn't really think things through for himself but he's just the type he'll he'll just follow them some money looking for money how do we make money the thief again that came up that came up again the thief the consultant success for he's hoping for success in the investigation about the money presents gifts nine of clubs so he's He's flattering, nine of clubs, cheerfulness, he's trying to be in presence, regale, regale, yep, yeah. military, 
hope he's hoping that this military thing will go away and be a gift if it does. Reconciliation. He, ah, he's talking with a consultant about how they can deal with this military thing. But here he, uh, where is he? Here he is again, Feast, just like his brother. He's always looking for money. He's always looking for success. He's not going to get any. Dark-haired man. Trip to the country. Ooh. Contrariety. Displeasure. Ooh. He's going for a trip to the country. That could be jail. Dark-haired man. Jack of spades. The enemy. The enemy. <laughs> Sending him on a trip to the country. That's not pleasant. Waiting. Jack of diamonds. The thief. Messenger, good or bad. No, that's a thief. Yeah, he's got thief there. Um, hmm. Just based on this, things aren't looking good for him. Just based on these words, mostly. Um, I do have some more notes on these cards. But yeah, he's... Uh, yeah. A sincere friend. Oh, Dad's sincere. He's a sincere friend to the military. He put in. He thinks about them a lot. Spewing lies. He's spewing lies. Um. Oh, look. We'll give the military lots and lots of money, but they've stolen money from the military for their own purposes. The wall and such, and other things as well. A trip to the country. Visit. Yeah. Look. He's caught up in oh, all this military thing too and trying to work away and talking to mummy and all that about, oh, no, well, talking to somebody, a consultant about uh, getting out. But he really just wants to kick back, relax and have a good time. But that's not in his future. In his future, it's a trip to the country and a very uh, a place that's going to cause him a lot of displeasure. And he's going to be sent there by an enemy, which we'll assume is... A good guy, <laughs> a dark-haired man. Um, I think that might be Cyvance, not sure, but whoever it is, yep. So we'll see how that last one comes off as well. Um, but that, my darlings, is the trumpets. All done. Um, I will be going live Wednesday morning. So I will see you then, and I will be doing more videos in the future. So, love you all. Bye-bye.